Hey everyone, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate your love and support. Welcome to my first official process video. I've never filmed one of these before, and as you can see, I actually caught on a little too late when I had the idea to film. But this is me actually filming, and please excuse the auto focus. I had no idea what I was doing. I actually just bought a camera two weeks before this, and I was a little excited, but I completely forgot I had this. But anyways, this is me painting on wood as I usually do. And with this painting, I was trying to do something a little different here. And that was painting my subject with paints all around in an abstract form, but leaving his face and his hands exposed to the wood, giving him his tones of the wood. Right now I am going, with, going over it with gold leaf and just you know applying it as best as i possibly can with this gold leaf it was a little difficult for me and i had to go over it again applying the adhesive to make sure that the gold leaf stuck to the parts that i wanted it to stick so that part was a little difficult but i was able to overcome it and now i got the airbrush out and with this airbrush i'm just going over the fine details and making sure that i'm getting the shadowing where i want it to shadow and making sure that everything is in order for me to continue this process. So as I was doing this, it got a little, little difficult for me just because of the, the, the position that I was focused in. And I was focusing like my, my back was hunching over when you airbrush and I'm not standing up on this, I'm actually sitting down. So I had to take breaks from time to time as you can just see right here. But I was just so focused on this painting because it was a big one for me. And especially that I had no idea really what I was doing. I was just experimenting as I, as I went along. So this was my idea is basically to have some type of an abstract form with the graffiti styles of the pen that I used to use and all the other paints as well. I used a lot of Posca pens for this. So that was something new that I actually bought for this painting. As you can see here, I am going over the shadowing of the face, being very, very patient. And the reason why is because there's very little room for error. If you make an error on this part, it has to be very small in order for you to correct it. And the reason why is because I'm painting on the wood. So you can't paint over the wood. The wood is exposed. And if you do something that is not to your liking, well, then you may have a little bit of a problem. But I was able to get it. I got the shading just as I wanted it to. And it was looking actually pretty nice and pretty good. And this is the result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share, and like. Thanks.